to be U.S. and Canada border. 20.4 miles of trans Skyway. Skyway. See another train back there. And, uh, that's what used to be the head end of our train. And here we are, just now departing. <laughs> Yep, all the cars are connected. And getting ready to start our way back down the mountain. By the narration earlier, this lake is four, it's four and a half miles long. And to give an idea of the scale of that mountain over there. Approaching the border from the Canadian side. And here you see a little shack. And some flags. Obviously a US flag and a Canadian flag because that's just border rat. Try to identify the three flags in the middle. And here is the border itself. This is a uh, granite beach here. Nice place to go for a swim. And then lay out on the beach area. Those nice soft rocks. Maybe even do a little tanning here under the nice bright overcast sky. There's the canyon we're coming down. See a little bit of the machine uh, here. Going in between the mountains. This trail that you see here. Very narrow passage. Little thin line in the middle there. That was how people walked before the railway was in. Carry their animals and walk along the trail. Moving on down through the ravine, you can see water flowing down through there, down towards the mountains. Just a gorgeous view, isn't it? This is the view of the inside of the tunnel. Yeah, okay, so maybe it is what you'd expect. Out of the tunnel. Here we can see the wooden trestle bridge, which at the time it was built was the tallest wooden trestle bridge. Green plates that 
that leaves their tree. Wow, it's covering some peaks of the mountain. for that up there. You can kind of see the ridge of the mountain just through the clouds a bit. And here you get another view of the uh, corner that we're going to pass up there. Pass between those ridges. And every now and then you can get a glimpse of the uh, stream down below. Look back up to the way we've been. Still buried up in the clouds. As we prepare to round the corner, we get a pretty good view of the uh, valley. See the river going all the way up. Quite an impressive valley. That stream way down at the bottom. Okay, now you can't see so well. You can see the rest of the valley. Next to this big mountain, there's that one up there. Even taller. Let's see. So now, what is that that you can see between the uh, ridges of the mountain? Why, that bay out there? That's where our ship is docked. You can't even see it. It's hard, but I'll try to hold the camera steady. We're all the way back out here. About 15 miles left to go to get back to the ship. Now we have view of a uh, valley here. Lots of trees. And so many trees in fact that some of them block the view. And it's getting a bit clearer now. Over on this far rise over here, Tunnel Mountain, you can see a stream flowing down. It's a little hard to see from here, but we'll be a little bit closer later on. We'll be on the tracks down here. On there. And from there, we'll have a better view. And here we have viewers a long way straight down. Wanna see how long? There you go. There's the tunnel we just came out of. Woo! In that tunnel? Down, down, down. Down in that deep gulf, you can see the water flowing down there. Farther out, you can see where it joins up the stream coming through the other valley. And there's a wee bar. Not sure why. And way over there, you can see a bridge. I expect we'll be crossing that in a few minutes. And up above this, what do we have? Another peak. Wow, that looks like some great skiing right up there. Go up into the clouds, find one of these nice runs, climb down. And it gets a little green down here. But That's why it's so overcast here. 
a big cloud machine. As we get closer, this peak looks even bigger and more impressive. You can still see the uh, train tracks over there. That's where we will be going. Following up the mountain, some trees. Okay, trees in front of us. Some more rocks. Some snow up to the peak. There you can see some uh, people over there near the train tracks. Not sure what they're doing. Waiting for a train. And on the inside track, a screen. Looking up this way, we see an alternate valley. There we go, some nice rapids. They are getting on the train. We've stopped. Hmm. And having picked up some hitchhikers, we're continuing on our way down the mountain. And over there, that's a train behind us. They're following us down the mountain. A bit of a ravine. Hard to see between the trees, but going right up the side of that mountain there. From here, <laughs> you get a view of the bridge that we crossed a couple minutes ago. Just as we came out of the tunnel, we crossed that bridge. The tunnel goes through there and comes out the other side. another train that's just done the same as we did, and it's now also following us now. Another gorgeous view. Ha ha ha. Twelve miles to Skagway, and here you get a view of a mountain. Another stream. Hard to tell if it's actually flowing or if it's frozen. Okay, maybe you can't tell in the video, but that's flowing. Waterfalls. Now, there we go. Nice shot of the waterfall. There's a bus traveling across the ridge on the far side. Looking out this side, there isn't a whole lot of room between the train and the mountain. As we come up close to these rocks here, nine and two waterfall. And see some uh, hiking coming through here. That's all the way up and all to the mountain.
want to be canoeing down those. Walking along the dock, approaching our ship that's the size of the mountain. And look, there's another one right beside us. Norwegian Sun. That's not ours. That's our vision of the, vision of the seas. That's the train that we just got off of. And up there is a long line of people waiting to go through the uh, security gate to get back on the ship. Bay that uh, Skagway is in. We're docked here with uh, a few other cruise ships. Two of them. Oh no, wait, that's not one. There we go. And the one that we're on. That's four cruise ships. Able to hold 2,400 passengers each. That's 12 times the population of Skagway, which is 800. 